Hello and welcome back to chapter 5, lecture number 37. So in the previous lecture, we created these leaves and we added a texture. And in this lecture, we will trans, uh, transform, transform these leaves in a more realistic uh, one. So right now, this is just one mesh. So um, I like to do some basic transformations for all of these and then make separated ones and do more adjustments. So we go to the edit mode and I like to select the middle uh, vertice of each leaf. There you go. And press G and O for proportional editing and we scale this a little bit. So and press G Z. And I think this looks pretty good. So you can see for the big ones, you need to do more adjustments, or just slightly, because you don't want to have these um, flat looking uh, ends. But I think if I compare this to the other ones, we're good. We are good. All right. So next step, I want to make separated uh, leaves. So go to the modeling tab, go to the top view, and let's select that one. Control L, P, selection, and move this one to the left. We go to edit mode, we select all the, let's go to material view. You want to have the rear to be on this orange origin, like this. And then we grab the next one, Control L, and we drag the one to this origin and press P, selection. And the next one, Control L, and P, selection, and so on. So we'll pause the video and you can do this so you have all the leaves. All right. And welcome back. So I made all separated leaves um, from this main mesh. And I also, we go to the solid mode. I want to make a smooth shading of shade smooth. There you go. And let's make some small adjustments for each uh, object. So press O and rotate it. And rotate it a bit more. So they won't look all the same. Variation is key when you have a lot of these objects. And that one has a weird twist. No big deal. But... Oops. All right. So we continue doing this. And rotation. Okay, I think we are pretty good. Only this part. <laughs> you think you finished? There's always something to work on. All right, so we have separated leaves. We jump to the next part, and that is a twig reference. So we go to the image samples, and I want to use this image. We import it as a reference, and we wrote it. Press R, hold control, and we have sort of snapping right putting it right there and we have this main branch and have some side branches so let's make this we add mesh cylinder and we want to have five vertices now we have to find this one press r x 90 degrees and drag this right there and it's now inside of the background image so now we make it smaller, turn off proportional editing and make it smaller, smaller. And let's go for object, shade smooth. So it looks like it's not that uh, edgy. All right, and we'll go to the wireframe. And smaller. And now you just try to follow this branch. There you go, make it a bit curvy. So ignore the uh, splitting for now. And you continue. 
Now you have to pick. I always pick the, the longest one. The one with the length. And there you go. And each time I continue, I make it smaller. All right. And small. Let's go for one more. And I select this part, Shift D, and I rotate it. And there you go. You have a side twig. And we drag this a little bit. And Control L and duplicate it. Like this. And Control L, Shift D. Good. Pretty happy with this result. I just want one more what is not visible in the uh, sample to have this one like underneath. <laughs> yeah, why not? And it looks sort of straight, and we're going to fix it right now. Go to proportional editing and this one can be that there and just want to make this looks curvy and that one as well I mean the more curviness you add in this shape the better it looks yeah something like this will do and why not one on top of it? I mean, if you have one on the bottom, you should have one on top. Woo. Shift D. Oh, turn off proportional editing. We rotate it. We work in tree space. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's just a little bit confusing. But not bad. Look, a wonderful twig. In my opinion, it's a wonderful twig. All right, so we have it, and we can add these leaves. So we just start with grabbing it, and because we have the origin right there, we can rotate it and putting it on the leaf. And we want just random looks. Maybe go to the salt view so you can see if it's, it's attached. So it's now merging. And then you grab the next one. It maybe looks a little bit complicated, but it isn't. It's just try to uh, not do it. Um, how can I explain? Sometimes you just want to do it right, you know? You, you want to do it perfect. But the secret is there is no perfect. I mean, the more uh, relaxed you are, with adding these details it will just look fine you know as long you don't do weird things <laughs> I mean with weird things I mean like if you just do this like this is not right this is just there to leave so delete it but as long it just looks like random you're good that's uh, something I learned by doing it over and over again. And sometimes you want to speed up. And you can see this origin is a little bit out of read. I need to put it back. You, you learn that um, uh, it is not about an exact copy and making these beautiful with, with holes in it. But just try to copy the, the shape. Because you have thousands, millions of leaves, it will just blur into uh, a complete. Um, and, um, it will just blend into each other. <laughs> it's uh, hard to explain this, but you probably understand why. Will be good. All right, we rotate it. 
and we grab another one and you can see there is no leaf right there but I can imagine that there should be one and we grab this right there and there you go and another one all right so you, you get this workflow and you probably think oh I have to do this myself indeed so you now probably see how I blend these sometimes it just go really wild and as long as it doesn't look the same as the other ones like these so we do one more together and if you have put all these leaves on the tree you just try to copy other ones that's no problem that's absolutely no problem and one more on the tip making twigs is such a relaxing thing to do <laughs> if you don't like this you probably li don't like the environment work because uh, and of course there are these tree generators with one click and you have a tree but doing it yourself is such a if you see a tree and you created it by yourself you think hey I created this tree just from making the leaves from scratch till this final tree that's such a good feeling um, so of course you have generators but it's still you who makes a good looking tree it's not a generator it's just a sort of quick tool all right now we're out of leaves and I mentioned you have to do the rest yourself and that's true uh, but just want to tell you this quick story about the true happiness of blending there you go all right so i started copying other ones and that's no problem all right i will pause the video and you can continue and feel free to add more leaves at some spots uh, where it's not visible on the reference all right see you in a second all right so this is my version of the twig what we need to do in the next lecture is add a texture on the branch and i want to make two versions of it so we have a large twig and a smaller one and we can uh, when we add a particle system we can uh, define where we want to have the the large one and the small one all right so this is the end of this lecture and I'll see you in the next one bye bye